Grand Seiko isn't the only watch company doing cool things in Japan. Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Gang. The mission of my channel is to show you watches that you wouldn't otherwise see on YouTube. Sure, we talk about the big brands from time to time, but other than that, I love to explore new horizons with you guys. If you like what we're doing and want to be part of our community, subscribe so we can infect even more people with the love for watches. This was probably one of the most difficult acquisitions so far. I contacted this brand one year ago because I was interested in buying one of their watches. To my quick realization, there was no contact or hope of getting a piece. All hope was lost until I saw more and more posts on Instagram by a collector named Just My Watches. I asked him, how the hell did you get one of these watches from Otsuka Lotek? He pointed me in the right direction, told them to answer me and a year later, here we finally are. I'm happy to present to you my latest addition to the collection, my Otsuka Lotek number no. 6 with a unique meteorite dial. There is a certain charm when you buy a watch from such a small company and the feeling when you finally put it on the wrist is amazing. I fell in love with this watch for a few different reasons. In my opinion, it's a mix between two watches that I really like. One is the Vacheron Constantin Mercator and the other is the Vianney Halter Classic. The retrograde hour and minute hand reminds me of the Vacheron and the case and steampunk design of the Vianney. The fact that it features a meteorite dial made the whole package just complete. I'm a sucker for stone dials and I have a soft spot for meteorite. Just thinking about the fact that this little piece of meteorite once flew around the universe at speeds I can't even imagine. It finally landed on Earth where someone found it and repurposed it. The dial is made out of the Muno Nelusta meteorite which is found in Sweden. Then it found its way into Tokyo and now it's on my wrist here in Switzerland. This meteorite reportedly fell on Earth about 1 million years BC and the first fragment was found in 1906. I love the texture of meteorite dials, the closer you get, the more you see. This meteorite has a so-called Wiedmannstetten pattern which is distinguished by these straight lines. Otsuka Lotek is based in Tokyo, Japan and is run by watchmaker Jiro Katayama. Otsuka is the name of a place in Toyoshima Ku Tokyo and Lotek stands for low technology. By that they mean made by hand or using simple industrial machines. Essentially every component is made in house except the base movement, some rubies, the glass and obviously the straps. Here I also received some pictures from the workshop. You can imagine the production of this small brand. I was told that they delivered only 71 pieces in 2022. The model I ordered here, the number 6, was only made 26 times and only 12 with this meteorite dial. As I said, due to the fact that they're using meteorite, each model is essentially unique. The other models are also very interesting, but I was most intrigued by this one. The other models are simply called the number 5, the number 6, number 7 and last but not least, the number 7.5. The prices also vary, as you can see, the more complicated it gets, the harder the price. Considering how much is done in-house, I think the prices are actually reasonable. Again, there is nothing on the market like this, not in Japan or other parts of the world. Ordering one will be probably extremely difficult, as the production capabilities are very limited. I heard that they want to optimize, potentially even increase the production and reach more people outside of Asia, which is currently their biggest market, obviously. I think a lot of people would enjoy these watches, as they satisfy a certain demand in the market especially at these price points and the design language. I put links in my video description in case you want to find out more about the brand or if you want to order one. This video is obviously not sponsored, I just purchased the watch because I genuinely liked it. The dial is fantastic, you've got nickel silver hour and minute hands, nickel silver is also called German silver so you know what I'm talking about, they're overlapping and very thin. The minute hand jumps back to zero at the end of every hour and the hour hand takes a longer journey from 0 to 12 until it finally jumps back. The best moment happens at 12 o'clock when both hands jump back to 0 and you have this double retrograde motion and clicking sound. There's also a small opening at 6 o'clock from where both the hands originate. This opening features a small running seconds disc so there's at least some continuous movement on the dial. Once you change the time you can also see the retrograde components in action, how they jump back and forth. I like this small opening because it's a very geeky part of the dial. There's also exposed screws on the dial holding everything in place. Of course, no screw is aligned on the swatch, not on the dial as well as not on the case. If you still have problems with unaligned screws, check the video I made a while ago in the video description below. I hope we can one day move past that. The hour and minute track as well as the other inscriptions are printed on the dial. A fellow collector was kind enough to translate the writing for me. So the Japanese words basically translate from left to right, made by Otsuka Lotek, 
number 6 mechanical, Toshima Tokyo and practical waterproof. Thanks again to Masaharu Wada from the Hodinki Japan team, you're awesome man. Fun fact, the font they used on the dial is the same as the highway instruction font in Japan. There's also a small sinkhole on the dial, it's right next to the opening and it's actually a date window. The sides of it and the frame are brushed and it's a neat complication for everyday use. The look of the watch is very industrial and raw. The lugs are thin and just essentially big enough to hold the strap in place. The crown is easy to grip, has a spiky surface and is positioned at 2 o'clock not 3 as you usually see it. The movement power in this model is a trusty Miyota movement, a reliable movement made in Japan. It fits perfectly to the overall personality of the watch, features Geneva stripes decoration and the oscillating weight has a sunburst finish and frosted at the end. The mineral crystal on the front is hand cut by Mr. Katayama, made to measure for this watch and slightly higher than the case. I was told that they will work on starting to use sapphire in the future. The cool thing about this watch is also that nobody knows what it is. There's no fear of getting robbed and it's a great conversation starter, especially when I'm among my collector friends. The watch sits very comfortably on the wrist, the buckle is custom made of course, the height of the case which is made in house as well is 11.55mm, the diameter is 42.3mm and lug to lug I measure to be 45mm. Although 42.3mm diameter might sound big, it's not because the lugs are so tiny. The price I paid at the end was approximately 2800 Swiss francs and an additional 310 francs for importing it to Switzerland. It's unlike anything I own and I think for the spirit of independent watches, this watch ticks many boxes. You support a new watchmaker, get a unique product and it doesn't break the bank. I've seen one on Cron24 recently which went for double the retail price which was very surprising to me. If you really want one, just try your luck with the brand directly. Let me know what you think about the watch and which model you would buy for yourself. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys and as always, I'll see you next week.